Yakasha. Diggity, check this out because I is here with none other than my main man, General Brent Skullcroft. Him was the National Security Advisor to George Bush, who was the President of America, and also to some geezer called Ford. Is fighting the most harmful thing you can do to the other side? Ain't the most harmful thing you can do is to call them nasty names. Not really, not for countries. Let's imagine we was back all those years ago when you was fighting Russia. Mm -hmm. If the president had gone over to the head of Russia and said, yo, Boris or whatever, mm -hmm. stop being such a eh, mm -hmm. he would have felt this small. Well, as a matter of fact, we did that. Did you go, eh? Well, not you. But what? Well, you don't do that in diplomatic circles. But did you do a kind of spouse kind of impression? Uh, no. When should a nation nuke another one? That's a very good question. That's right. a very good question. Right. I, I, I would say only if it's very vital interests are involved. Do you think America should nuke Canada? No. Why not? Well, because, first of all, we don't have any real significant problems with Canada. But if you nuked Canada, the amazing thing would be the element of surprise. Then would never expect it. And then you could take all their, everything they got there. We don't, want, we don't want what they have. Well, they must have something good up there. Well, they have a lot of things good. They have a lot of gold. And uh, they have a lot those of oil. cow things with the horns. <laughs> Moose. Alright. If you is an officer, what is the bestest tactic in battle? To win. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. The what, best what, what? The, what does that mean? The best the best tactic you can do is to maneuver so that you surprise the enemy. So is the bestest tactic surprise? Sure it is. Because that makes me think of, ooh, yes. did that surprise you? Yes. That and, did, didn't and, it? And, and when you surprise somebody, you have the advantage, because you know what you're doing. And, and he doesn't, he's not prepared. That's, that's true, because I was thinking that, ah! Yeah, yo, exactly. Did and, that... and most of our great, most of the great generals in history have figured out how to surprise the enemy, do something they don't anticipate. No. I understand what you're saying because I... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I was trying to... Does he understand? That's I was a, trying yeah. to surprise no, you. No, and it's exactly, it's exactly that concept. Is the army worried about the threat of chemical and biological weapons? Sure. Sure. Did they ever catch the people that sent Tampax through the post? Uh, no, they did not. It wasn't Tampax, it was Anthrax. All right, I think there's different brand names. Well, well, it may be, but Anthrax is the germ. Uh, Tampax is something very different. We just want to say big up yourself, General Skullcroft. You was helped us out here, and you know the interesting... Ooh. <laughs> Yo, the surprise, yeah. the surprise, surprise thing. Yo, the surprise thing. It. But me just want to say, all you lot out there, listen to the words of my man, the general. And I ain't shitting you, he really is a general, Skullcroft here. Because him has said enough important things about warranting. You better listen up. Don't get mashed up. Keep it real. Me know you probably can't tell me this because it is classified. But what do the letters... CIA actually stand for? That's easy. Central Intelligence Agency. Is that your real face? Yes. Had it for a long time. Let's talk about some conspiracy things. Let's go back to the grassy knoll. Who actually shot JR? Uh, JFK? Uh, I don't... Uh... Who's he? I am Boutros Boutros Ghali. Put down your gun and listen to Bob Marley. Bob Marley. <laughs>